Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an empties video. My bin is bursting at the seams, and I think we're just going to dive right into it. It is Thanksgiving week, and I am getting through so much wax, so many candles. I am in project use up the Bath & Body Works candles, and I have made a really good dent in my Bath & Body Works collection. I have now less than 10 candles, which makes me super happy. More room for other things. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the candles. The first candle that I finished is a Homeworks candle in pumpkin caramel corn. I purchased this one from like TJ Maxx or Homeworks or Homeworks or Home Goods. And the notes read buttery caramel popcorn, buttery pop. Buttery caramel, pumpkin spice, and freshly popped corn. This guy burned pretty well, but there was absolutely no throw to this at all, which is the been the problem with Homeworks lately. Made in Vietnam, they just are not, they're just not like they used to be. I keep trying them at like the depart at the uh, discount stores, and yeah, they're not good. The set is nice. I had it before. This was like in an original TSV when he first did the four wicks. It was like pumpkin caramel corn, harvest leaves, and autumn pine cone, I want to say was the three pack for fall. He did like a three pack of fall and a three pack of Christmas. And this was one of them. I'm actually burning. I don't want to knock it over, but I'm actually finishing up this mistletoe magic which was from the original TSV. Um, a friend actually gave that to me. This isn't from my collection. So just, they didn't want it anymore. She's like, here, take it. So I said, okay. All right. I finished a Diptyque Sapin, Sapin candle. This is like their holiday tree fragrance. They bring it out every year. I think this was from last year. They do include a gold lid with those. This was like $74, I think. This is like right when the price increase happened. This is a good tree fragrance. I don't love tree. It did get pretty sooty towards the end because I just let it burn until it extinguished itself. I will clean out the jar and use it for like Q-tips. It's a, such a pretty jar. But I'm getting to the point with Diptyque where they're just, after trying Kringle and having such incredible performance from Kringle Candle all around, Makes me really not want to purchase Diptyque anymore. I know they're on two totally different scales, but for the price, the quality just is not like it used to be. And the quality has gone downhill in Diptyque quite a bit. All right, speaking of quality going downhill, I finished two wine cellar candles from Bath & Body Works. These were from the Candle Day candles last year. This one completely fizzled out before the other one did, and it was okay. I really like the scent, but I could barely smell it when it was burning. Malt apples, fresh fig, and cedarwood. It's a really pretty deep, dark wine fragrance. I love the scent. This one burned a little bit better, but still, I mean, I could not smell them when they were burning. So they would not be repurchases, wine cellar. I do love the scents. I finished a sweater weather from last year. Now, before you look, I ended up sticking this in the crock because the performance was absolutely abysmal in this. I mean, the flames got so small on the second burn that I just opted to stick it into the crock. And the notes read, fresh sage, juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. I'm also the type that doesn't like sweater weather. I think you either love it or hate it. I hate it. It's not for me. It has such an odd scent to it. I thought it would be the juniper, but I actually really like juniper. I don't know what it is, but I did this in my office just to melt it. It threw fine because it was in the candle crock, but other than that, no thanks. I did a crushed candy cane. This is from, I think, two years ago, 2450. Crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. I actually really like this scent. I like crushed candy cane better than twisted peppermint. I like that it's more of a fresh, crisp mint than it is a like creamy vanilla mint from the Twisted Peppermint. Twisted Peppermint just has an odd off note to me, but I really like crushed candy cane. Yeah, it was nice. I burned this in my bedroom during most of the time and I had like Scentsy Candy Cane Buttercream and I had like different waxes going with it that would complement it. So I can't say if this performed well or if it was the waxes. 
I finished a single wick in Vampire Blood. I actually pulled this out with my Halloween stuff and it was like half burned. I'm like, oh no, I just need to finish this because I don't want to bring it in next year. This was fine. I did it in my bathroom. Vampire Blood is, there's no notes because this is a couple years ago. It's like a strawberry and plum fragrance. Not my favorite. I did two Kringle candles. I did Rail Bridge. I did this one in my bedroom. It is a very cologne masculine type of fragrance. It's not bad. It definitely gives me like an older gentleman's aftershave, like cologne fragrance versus a like fall fragrance. I don't know. I definitely get more cologne than I do anything else, but I do like the scent and it lived its entire life in my bedroom and performed pretty well. Then I finished, which was so good, pumpkin waffles. For one, look at that label. Absolutely love it. Burned completely clear all the way down. There's some oil on the lid. It's actually from a Scentsy brick, but we'll talk about that. The soy wax burned all the way down. Smells very similar to pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works, except, except, it doesn't get gross and nasty halfway through the burn and it's smelling like burnt and icky. It actually performed well and strong the entire way down and it smelled just like that creamy, delicious pumpkin waffles that I love. It's like a rich brioche, like Belgian waffle with those nutty nuances. So pretty, love it. It's a repurchase. I would totally get more of this. I actually wanna get, next time there's a three wick sale, I want to get some three wick pumpkin pecan or pumpkin waffles from Kringle to store away for next fall. Now, before we get into the wax, I have two non wax, or I actually have a few non wax empties. But the first one we have is a pumpkin pecan waffles gel. I actually enjoy the gel soaps a lot, and I love pumpkin pecan waffles. That sweet, nutty pumpkin. Notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. And then I did. It all has that oil from the bar. Bamboo and Surf Shower Gel. I finished that up. This is amazing. A watery, fresh fragrance inspired by boardwalk greenery and salty air beaches. I really like this. This is fresh. This is crisp. This is clean. It just has this really brightness to it that I really, really enjoy. So I finished that. Oh, more non-wax. I finished a counter clean in Johnny Appleseed. Love Johnny Appleseed and love counter clean. This is such a great everyday cleaner for your counters or for anything. This is also an amazing spot treatment for rugs. I have cats. Sometimes they have hairballs, etc. So if I spray this on the rug, it comes right off. I really, really like counter clean and it, it's a great scent. All right, now let's dive into my bin of wax. One more non-wax empty. I have pods in blue grotto that I finished up. I put these in my laundry room. This is like a dupe for Volcano from Capri Blue, like a really pretty citrusy green fragrance and I switched them out for sheer leather. I love sheer leather. If you don't know what pods are, they're a waxless system from Scentsy. I really like the wall fan diffuser in my laundry room, just so I don't have to worry, like that's where the litter box is. It just keeps the laundry room always smelling fresh and clean and not having to worry about a cat tail like knocking wax over. It's just a lot safer of an alternative. All right, non-Scentsy wax, I only actually did two and they are both in the same fragrance, Granny's Pie Crust from Candles by Victoria. This is the best pie crust fragrance I've ever smelled. Some people say it has like a pickle juice note. I can see where they're coming from if I really think about it, but it's like this sweet, buttery, rich pie crust. It is so good. It is the best pie crust fragrance I have ever smelled. And if I only ordered one scent from Candles by Victoria Forever, can't believe I would say it's a pie crust scent, but it is. It's Granny's Pie Crust. It is the best. All right. The culprit of the gooeyness in the bin. Look at how gooey she is. Uh, <laughs> Caramel Chestnut. This is a brick from last year? Two years ago. Last year, I think. Um... I don't love this. Um, the strength is fine. It's really strong because it's super concentrated oil in here. It kind of gives me like a toasted marshmallow vibe, but it's a sweet, caramely, nutty fragrance. I just, there's something in it that it's just not doing it for me. 
It's not in my club. And I opened this up from like this year after sitting and I was like, oh, it was so oily. I'm like, I have got to use it up. I'm actually using up my icicles in evergreen, which is still oily, just not nearly as wet or sweaty as this bar is or this brick. So I finished that. I finished porch pumpkin. This was from like a flash sale of some sorts I got. I actually did a bunch of these in my bathroom, like two cubes at a time. I had two cubes left. So I have them in my office right now. Surprisingly, it's really good and strong. It's like a, a sweet, slightly cinnamony pumpkin. Scentsy has so many pumpkin fragrances. It can kind of get overwhelming with the amount of pumpkins that we have. But when you find one you really love, you stick with it. At least I do. And this isn't a favorite, but it's nice. I, didn't, I don't have it in my club or anything. It was just like a flash sale. But it was nice. This one, cinnamon pine cones. This was from the scent of the month. I don't like this actually at all. I melted this in my bedroom and it was like way too overpowering. And I don't know if it's the pine cone note. It gave it like a plasticky smell that just felt stale and flat. It's sort of the same scent vibes that, what was the one that everybody loved that I just didn't? It's a red new release this year. What was it? It's that new release that everybody's loving. Caramel something, chestnut something. I don't remember, but it's in the new catalog. It's like the red bar. I just don't like it. So not a repurchase. This <gasps> candy cane buttercream. Okay. This was added into the catalog this year. This was from the Sensepirations last year, which if you're not familiar with what the Sensepirations is, there's one going on right now for Christmas Cottage. Not a fan. But this Sensepiration collection was the base of vanilla bean buttercream. And then Sensi added something to it, to the base. So it was vanilla bean buttercream as the base. Then you had candy cane buttercream, gingerbread buttercream, and caramel buttercream. This... A lot of people were like, oh, it's not super strong. And I do remember melting it last year and it was fine. This is from last year. This went for days in my bedroom. Days and days and days. And it was like the most creamy, rich, gooey buttercream with a hint of peppermint candy. This was so good. I got a couple bars this year that I'm going to melt. Because this performs so well for me, even after sitting for a year in my bedroom, I don't think this is an open concept scent because it's not super strong, but it was perfect for a bedroom. And I like the vibe of a candy cane in a bedroom because it's just calming and comforting with the peppermint. This is going to go in my club. This is definitely going in my club so I can stock up throughout the year. Now, because that I finished, this one was actually pretty sweaty. That was not, but this one was gingerbread buttercream. Pretty sweaty. This I like, I don't love. I do get the gingerbread notes, like that cinnamon, nutmeg, molasses with the buttercream. It is performing pretty well. I do think I need to change out the warmers, though it's been a couple days and it's not nearly as strong. But if I had to pick between gingerbread buttercream and caramel, but or um, candy cane buttercream, candy cane buttercream it is. It's just not as strong for me. Speaking of caramel, I have caramel apple craze, and I did this in my living room, dining room, kitchen area, hence two bars. This is nice. It's as close to Bath and Body Works Cider Lane as I can get from Scentsy. Cider Lane is so amazing, but this one is nice. It does give me like a sweet, gooey caramel apple. So I enjoy it. It doesn't throw like Cider Lane does. I don't think it'll go in my club because I'm just not in love with it, but it was a nice change of pace. I finally did the Hocus Pocus bar. This is in my club, Perfectly Wicked, and I keep getting them, and I haven't even melted it yet, but I didn't want to remove it from my club in case it, I loved it. I really like it. I do not love it, and, and I've heard other people say this. This is the messiest bar I've ever seen. Like... To clean the warmers, I typically use the um, hot method where I put cotton balls in the liquid wax and absorb it and pitch the cotton balls. The cotton balls like stick to the bottom of the dish because this one gets so stainy on my dishes. And then I just pour a little acetone and wipe it off and it comes right off. It's just a little bit more work. But I also like the method where I turn on the warmer for like 10 minutes, use like a knife and just like it pops out in one. 
but the scent was so good. It smells just like Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I know everybody says it. It's because it's true. If you like that Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I think you will really like this. It does give you that cherry, but perfumey cherry vibe that it's not like cough medicine, which I can't stand. It's actually really pleasant. Really like it. And it performed for like two days in my dining room, living room, kitchen area. So I was happy with the performance of that. I don't know how long it'll stay in my club, but I do enjoy it and I could see myself reaching for it. And then what I'm doing right now as I'm filming this video, make me snickerdoodle in this area. Uh, two bars. Uh, no, it's just not cookie-y for me. It's like cinnamon sugar. But there's not that like super rich sugar cookie. It has an off note to it. Sort of the off note that Cran Apple Crumble has from Scentsy that I just don't care for. And I'm almost wondering if I mix this with Cran Apple Crumble to see if like both of the notes that I don't like, if I melt them together, it'll create something I do. But this is all the bars I had to make me snickerdoodle. And it's, it's throwing fine in my room. I'm enjoying it. Like it smells good. I don't want to change out the wax. Like that one scent that I hate that I cannot remember the name of. I did it in my bedroom. I actually had to take it out of the warmers because I didn't like it. It smelled like burnt caramel apples. Like I just did not like it. And I cannot believe I can't remember the name. But yeah, this just not, it's not amazing for me. So, and that was it. That was all the things that I used up. And now it feels so good. I love doing these videos because I can take the bin, recycle it and press the reset button. So it makes it really nice to refill it up. And I am fully into holiday melting mode now. So it's November 20th, it's Thanksgiving week, and I'm ready to melt all the holiday things, which is good because I'm in a holiday mood now. Holiday moods never last around here. I get really over holiday scents pretty quickly. So excited to get into that mode for now. Let me know what you guys are melting or enjoying. I will leave the Kringle Ambassador link as well as my Scentsy website down below if you want to support me and place an order. Plenty of time to get them in before Christmas. Make it an amazing day. Be kind. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you stay alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Love you guys. Bye.